Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make iced tea. This is a DIY classic cold brewed iced tea recipe that truly could not be any easier mm. to make. It is delicious, mm. it's mm. refreshing, and mm. it will save you a ton of money if you are used to buying your iced teas from the local coffee shop. Now to make the tea, I like to use this one gallon glass container, which holds 16 cups of liquid. So usually what I do is I fill it halfway and I'll make eight cups of tea. What I really like about it is that it has a lid on it. So when the tea is steeping in the fridge, it stays covered. You could of course also do this right in a pitcher if you prefer. And if you wanted to keep it covered, just put a clean dish towel right over the top. And I'll be sure to link both of those containers down in the description box below if you wanna check either of them out. So I'm gonna start by placing eight tea bags in the bottom of the container. For a classic iced tea, you wanna choose a black tea. And remember, if you want a really great iced tea, you wanna choose a really great tea. So look for a good quality tea that you love. Personally, I love to make iced tea with Earl Grey tea because it's a lightly flavored black tea that's blended with bergamot oil, which has this really light, bright, citrusy flavor. So it's the perfect choice for a delicious iced tea. And just as a side note, you could use this method to make any type of iced tea that you like. So if you wanted to do an iced green tea or an iced herbal tea, you could certainly do that. The options are endless. Then I'm gonna pour eight cups of room temperature filtered water over the top of the tea bags. You could also do this with cold water, but I do want you to avoid doing it with hot water because remember, this is a cold brewed iced tea recipe. And the reason I prefer this method is because I find that it really does make a cleaner tasting, more smooth bodied iced tea. Whenever I make iced tea with hot water, number one, the tea tends to get a little bit cloudy. And number two, the flavor is just a little bit more bitter. So while the cold brew does take a little extra time to steep, the light, bright, fresh flavor is well worth the wait. Then I'm just gonna give this a light stir, pop on the lid, and then place this in the fridge. You want it in the fridge for a minimum of eight hours. Normally, I just make this in the evening and then let it sit overnight so that the tea is ready to go the next day. And another side note I wanted to mention, if you like a really, really strong brewed iced tea, you could reduce the water to six ounces per tea bag instead of eight ounces per tea bag, and that would get you a strong brewed tea. Once the tea has steeped for a minimum of eight hours, you're gonna see that it has this nice rich color and it is ready to serve. So the first thing you wanna do is scoop out those tea bags and then you've got a couple of options. Now, if I'm making this tea for my family just to have for the week, I'll just leave it in the refrigerator in this container with the lid on just like this. And then when somebody wants a glass, I just fill a glass up with some ice, add the tea over the top and then add a big fat squish of lemon. If we want it sweetened, my personal favorite way to sweeten it is with liquid stevia. I like the liquid stevia because number one, it's plant-based. It doesn't add any sugar. It doesn't add any calories. It's not gonna affect blood sugar levels. And it's already liquid, so it blends right into the iced tea. So I usually do anywhere between four to six drops, give it a stir, and it makes the most delicious, refreshing glass mm. of sweetened tea. Mm. 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 Now on the flip side, if I was gonna make this iced tea for a barbecue or for a bunch of friends or family, then I would pull out my pitcher, pour the tea into the pitcher, put in a whole bunch of ice, some fresh lemon, and then again, decide if I was gonna sweeten it or not. If I was, I would just do the math, right? So about five drops of liquid stevia times eight. So I do about 40 drops of the stevia and mix that all together. If you do not want to do the liquid stevia, you could also take somewhere between two and four tablespoons of honey, depending on your taste, mix it with a little bit of hot water and stir that into your iced tea. And that would get you a nice, lightly sweetened iced tea without using any refined sugars. So whichever one you prefer, they will both get you a delicious result. This tea, it's so light, it's so refreshing. I love that light citrus flavor. I'm telling you, this is a recipe you're gonna find yourself making all summer long. It is just too easy and too delicious not to. And when you do, don't forget to snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Listen, if you don't want crap iced tea, don't buy crap tea. That's a, that's a line pop-up would tell you.